A little bit chilly here this morning, folks, but things are going to heat up a little bit later during the lunchtime rush when this entire area is going to be chock-a-block full of hungry office workers and shoppers looking for their nearest food court, and they'll probably be looking for your world-famous salad roll, Phil. Oh, mate, you know. <laughs> that extra little bit of cheddar and paprika. <laughs> but, Phil, running a food outlet in a busy shopping mall can present its fair share of challenges, as you well know multiple food vendors, strong competition, but we can turn those things around to our advantage, can't we? Oh, of course. Uh, if, if you're in a food court, that works to your advantage, in my opinion. If you're in a concentrated area, you're in an area in a business district or a residential area, and that's where people are gravitate to. So that, I th that is great. And not only that, you have a, a menu advantage, but you're allocated a certain menu, and your menu is protected from the others. So the idea is to really focus on that menu and specialise on that menu and be passionate about that menu and just show the customers that you care through your menu. Don't expect people to flock to you in their hundreds and thousands just because you're in some large shopping mall complex. As Phil says, understand the importance of specialisation in terms of your business model and you'll increase your ability to whet the appetites of all of those hungry food court consumers. Now you owe me that salad roll there, mate. We'll no, get that I'll bring there. It down. I'll get it down. Okay, soon. yeah. We'll see you next time, folks. <laughs>